Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another video on question and answer session for MRCS exam and it is one of the big question. So in case of big question, first of all, we have to be very very careful for reading. Then pick up the most important point to answer the question. So here the question, first of all, careful reading is very necessary here because this question is one of the long question so here we can see a 72 years old man is undergoing a repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm the aorta is cross clamped both proximally and distally the proximal clamp applied immediately inferior to the renal arteries both common iliac arteries are clamped distally a longitudinal aort aortotomy is performed after evacuating the contents of the aneurysmal sac, a significant amount of ongoing bleeding is encountered. This is most likely to originate from. So after reading, we have to pick up the main points to answer the question. So here, a 72 years old man is undergoing a repair of abdominal aortic aneurysm. Aorta is cross clamped both proximally and distally. The proximal clamp is immediately inferior to the renal artery. Both iliac artery is clamped distally. So clamp is applied in the two places, one in the aorta and other two in the common iliac arteries. Then a longitudinal aortotomy is performed. After evacuating the content of aneurysmal sac, a significant amount of ongoing bleeding encounter that means uh, after the clamping but there is uh, some of the bleeding so what is the source or origin it origination here so here we can see the branches uh, the options here the ciliac axis testicular artery splenic artery superior mesenteric artery and lumbar arteries so first of all let's see some of the picture which will be very helpful to answer the question here so here we can see this is the uh, procedure where autotomy is done here the first clamp is applied just inferior to the renal artery here we can see the renal arteries and the two other clamp are applied in common iliac artery here we can see here here and then autotomy was done and after the autotomy a significant amount of bleeding occurs so where from the bleeding comes so for this we have to first of all we have to see the branches of the aorta here we can see these are the branches of the aorta and the clamp applied here here we can see the clamp applied just inferior to the renal artery and to common iliac artery so bleeding have to occur within this place so we have to find out the source of the blood in this area so here we can see here very few vessel present they are the inferior mesentic artery and gonadal artery in case of male it is testicular artery in case of female it is ovarian artery and we can see some other branches which lies in the posterior part so in this picture we can see during the clamping we clamp here and here so during this clamping these arteries such as the gonadal arteries and inferior mesentric artery they are easily blocked but this artery which is very close to the vertebra in the posterior part they are not blocked so it is very hard to because there are some other structure we uh, can see here is the uh, ureter and some other veins behind the aorta so uh, it is difficult uh, to place the uh, clump in the lumbar arteries so the source of blood is the lumbar arteries so this on uh, picture is very very enough for the answering the question and here is a word that the lumbar arteries lies posteriorly and it's seated and common cause of back bleeding during aortic surgery so this lumbar artery it lies posteriorly and posteriorly uh, it is very hard to reach because there are some other important structure which may be got injured during the 
procedure so for this the lumbar arteries it is source of the bleeding during the autotomy uh, though the proximal clamp and distal clamp are applied properly thank you all